All right. I just had to do that again. It took uh, it took me. Let's put a little more light on this here. Let's change the quality of light. There we go. It took me only like 15 minutes to move everything around, about an hour to make sure that there was nothing in frame that would be compromising. <laughs> All right. I sound good today, PJ Beiser. Yeah, <clears throat> this is my my sexy 2023 voice. Testing it out for the road. Hey, Trevor. It's good to see a lot of you guys here. Um, I have moved things around. This is a flat surface here. A flat surface. This is the PC that's um, made by my good friends over at GeForce. Um, and... Uh, the PC's built into the table. This is the mouse pad here. Um, so I've been kind of hes hesitant. I mean, this was kind of built to game and stream on, and I've certainly gamed on it, um, but I have not streamed, so this is the first stream from this. And it's working great. All right, so let's... Uh, I have two things I'm going to do very quickly today. We we're going to do giveaways, and time ran out on me last year. I could talk a little bit about that, but it's just uh, it's a very busy, crazy 2022. 23 looks to be similarly busy. But anyway, I found these, uh, while I was cleaning, I found these two um, blank variants. Pretty old, from uh, New 52, back in the day. Dawn of Justice, Batman v Superman, so this is 2016. And uh, New 52 was 2011, and this is the 14th issue, so this was in 2012. So, um, 299, 499, Wonder Woman 50th, 50th double-sized issue. All right, so let's. We're just gonna have some fun. I haven't drawn in a long time. Um, Partly, I didn't have the desire to draw, and I didn't question it too much. Things happen. Things happen. Uh, Kazakhstan. Hello from Kazakhstan. And uh, Grand, Grand Admiral Bertus, good to see you. A lot of people. I'm taking it pretty easy and mellow, but I'm going to draw, start drawing Swamp Thing. It's essentially kind of a monster, and just kind of warm up, given that, that I haven't drawn before. Um, let's see. It's been a while in terms of not drawing. I'm convinced. I, I actually feel like I don't know. I haven't even. It, but now, even as I move my pencil, I'm like, oh, I, I, I am doing it. I <laughs> not all is lost. So whatever brain cells holds this information it's still working, which is great. Because it would be pretty depressing if I woke up one day and said, you know, what? I forgot how to draw. And then I start drawing and going like, yeah, I have. This is weird. I suspect that day will someday happen. I don't know. I was talking about it with my kids just the other day. It is not a it's not a skill that you just acquire and go, okay, I can now draw and don't worry about it. I do feel like it's uh it's like a muscle. Where that muscle sits, I don't know, but that's just Metaphorically, if it's a muscle and it's somewhere there, you need to exercise that muscle or it's, uh, oh, it will atrophy. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. 
Oh boy. Welcome to the first stream of 2023. Uh, yeah. I'm just using this pencil. It's a Lumograph 100. A Mars Lumograph. I love the fact that there's someone in uh, marketing over at Mars Pencil Company. Like We'll call this the pencil graph. No, 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 no. Too boring. We'll call it the graphograph. No, redundant. We'll call it the lumograph. I don't know what that means. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> Swamp Thing. Um, light source above. Anyway, I hope you guys all had a restful, con contemplative uh, New Year's, end of the year. I wanted to um, welcome in our mods. We have uh, Kirihiko, Mod Prime, from back in the day. who celebrated her birthday end of October, I, w I believe. Like That's how bad I've been about streaming. It's like I didn't have the opportunity to wish her a happy birthday on stream. Right? So, um... And then we also have PK somewhere in the house. There you are. I think Crispy is out. I didn't see him. And, uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm just drawing. My eyesight has gotten bad to the point where this is all kind of blurry, but I trust that it's, I'll just, ba I'll just go, I'll just draw based on feedback from the, the audience. the audience, the people in stream chat. So yeah, I've been very silent on social, I don't know, just a weird year. And maybe I'm just getting to that point where I just don't care about social media so much. Maybe all the craziness surrounding drama, uh, <clears throat> the drama around Twitter, I, I, I don't know. I try to see what it would be like if I just laid off social for a while and it was nice. Nothing changed. The world didn't end. Sales didn't collapse. And in fact, <clears throat> I don't know about Twitter because I, I, I don't really check the follow con. It's not as apparent, um, but on Instagram, as soon as you open up your page, you see kind of your following. And for the longest time, like, unless I posted, like, things wouldn't move. And uh, for the past month, I think, almost a month, I haven't posted anything. Follower count stayed exactly the same. <laughs> so it was just, uh, I don't know. Why mess with uh, a good thing, right? Not even saw lots of hate. Axis nineteen seventy, very interesting. The Axis nineteen seventy posts about hate. Yeah, there's a lot of negativity online at this point. I just kind of ignore it. But so yeah, a lot of existential questioning at the end of last year, but. That's just me. Okay. This is a, for those of you, this is a Micron 05. 
and it is the marker that was closest to my hand. Okay, one second. I need to do something. That was a message from my wife. I'll be right back. All right, hold on. I just need to move her phone onto a charger. Okay, I'll be right back. Phone. The phone was fairly fairly well charged. Uh, it's at seventy two percent. Put it on my charger. I have a special sound for my wife's text. It cuts through everything. It's, uh, yes. Okay. So I figure this is this would be a low pressure mellow stream. I had certain anxieties about it last year, I think, just because I didn't, I hadn't set it up at a permanent spot. It just I had set it up my old PC, which I had moved to a different room. So I just <sighs> didn't want to deal with the aggravation of setting it up anew elsewhere. So I just kind of moved everything into that other room which was not very satisfying, it was very cramped. But now that I've moved it over to the proper place, I'm not looking at my drawing table, which is right over there. But I don't know if I want to move it there. Like, I don't mind drawing on a flat surface, and this seems, uh, certainly would be easier <clears throat> when we use ink. And if I paint anything, I have some paints here, acrylics painting on fabric. Um, yeah, SM Cardi, good to see you. Why he? 62 months in a row. That's insane. Have we been around 62 months? I guess we have. Computer don't lie. You guys are going to be all old men and women at some point. <laughs> Spent all our lives on this stream. Uh, Grant said that, how do you share art with Scott to ink? Do I hand it off or FedEx? Uh, FedEx or a courier? But yeah, it's we, we draw on paper, analog, so it usually has to be physically delivered to him. Power Comic Studio, good to see you. Yeah, you know, I, I, I have done a couple streams, so I need to pop them up on YouTube. I'll do that later today. Daniel J. Bosco, thanks for the bits. Will you be at any Florida cons in 2023? Possibly, possibly Megacon. Um, I have a 
three, maybe four shows lined up already for 2023. Um, excited to say that se- several of them, if not all of them so far in cities I haven't been to in a long time or have never been to. Um, I think the first show I've got is La Mole. That's in Mexico City. Anyone here from Mexico City? I, Emmanuel, how do you make yourself draw when you're too lazy? I, I don't. <laughs> I, I should. But I went through a, a very large laziness stage at the end of last year. I just, like, shut down. And that's probably why I didn't stream when I wanted to. Um, and... Uh, I figure it would just naturally come back, just like anything. Desire. Initiative. So. Not a real Viking. Will you ever do a con in London? I've done conventions over in the UK. London. Bristol, I think. I want to do the, um, the Thought Bubble show. I think it's in... Leeds, if I am correct. But anyway, Mexico City is the first one. There's some other cities uh, in the south, Midwest. But I'll let those show organizers make those announcements. But yeah, I'm booked up through part this year. Oh, or hopefully return to a show in Italy this year. Hello, uh, Ryehart23, first time chatter, first time in chat. Punch a bunch of buttons. We have a creative night. We do it as a group in one of the channels. Yeah, that's that's very uh, creative. Certainly finding people online. Um, I haven't drawn much, but but I did almost single-handedly solve the some of these murder cases. You see how my get, get kind of sucked into these sensationalist stories. Anyway. Axis 1970. What are your thoughts on the artists against AI movement? Dun 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 dun. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting for for an artist from the future to come back in time and tell me, like, there's a war. We need to stop them. We need to stop the AI art art movement. Our humanity is doomed. Dun 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 dun. Come with me if you want to live. Um, yeah. I uh, I don't know. I'm I. I guess. Uh, I I'm intrigued by AI art. I've talked about this last time. I don't have an issue with it, but I haven't seen it rip me off yet. So maybe once it rips me off, then I'll have a much more emotional. Uh, focused opinion but I, I feel like it's just a tool I, I I downloaded one of those apps I was playing around with it maybe I'm doing it wrong but I wasn't getting anything very satisfying but I've seen things online it was really kind of a hot thing for a moment with like these uh, um, profile pics it was basically you, if, and it worked best if you had like a photo that was pretty straight on and then it would basically paint you or make you into a graphic or a cartoon Uh, yeah and 
and uh, yeah it so I, I, I think it's a tool it would be kind of interesting to do an entire um, comic using an AI engine but I, I, I think I would use it as a starting point and then I would digitally add or change things based on obvious mistakes or things that could be improved could be real you know I, I've just heard the same reaction like the advent of digital technology you know drawing on a computer um, even Photoshop you know They're just all tools. I, I'm not. I, I'm not sort of. I don't have a knee-jerk AI is bad sort of mentality. You know, artists are supposed to be creative. Theoretically, free thinkers, people that are open to new and novel ideas and experiences and concepts. Unless it threatens their livelihood, then it's a no-no. But no, I don't believe that. So I, I do feel like, okay, let's see what happens. And also, look, I also don't think you can stop. It's very hard to stop technology from progressing. Like once Napster started, like it was very hard to put that genie back in the bottle and say, like, no, you know, pirating music or... Um, these sort of online sharing services need to be banned. It, you saw how successful that was. I think uh, AR artists just need to up their game and and show why they're indispensable as part of the creative process. And I believe that. Look, you know, think of all the uh, what was it? The software that would allow people to create websites, but, you know, some horrible websites were created using that software, you know. All these tools exist already. Anyway, and, and that whole, uh, the painting of the AI, I, I, I inputted some photos. It was very limited, I thought, and it worked best when it was just a straight-on portrait, which makes it feel more just like a, just a filter. Did stuntmen get pissed off with the advent of you know visual effects? Did they feel like that's not a real fall? That's a digitally that's a shot of a digital image falling through. You know, there was no one even falling. Doesn't feel authentic or true. But I just not look. If you have the goods, you have the goods. Uh, and if technology can that easily destroy your appeal or value then gotta fight harder that's what I think that said I still like drawing physically I, I I don't draw too much digitally. Um, this is just uh, one marker. And um, I'm adding texture, shadows line weights um, a lot of it's just sort of reacting to the lines I put down and if I make that thicker I gotta make this thicker over here so some of its causality causality is that the right word 
Why do I question so much? I should just say causality. AI is texting me. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, so for the holidays, uh, I did a little skiing. It was pretty exciting. You can't even. Oh. I didn't realize the side camera was off this whole time. You didn't get to see, <laughs> yeah, poop. Yeah, you didn't get to see all my looks at the camera. Um, yeah. So I don't know if we can see it. Okay, it's gone now. But I skied into a tree, which is an amazing experience. Uh, and. Uh, I have enough control over my skis that uh, I've been skiing for 40, 40, 40 years now. And uh, I was in a narrow chute like all these hills. So it's kind of like once you're on, it was hard to stop. And you're just trying to maintain your balance as you go up and down, up and down over these undulating hills. And... Uh, they weren't particular steep, but but it was amazing how much speed you would pick up. And I was like, all right, I need to get off this thing. I need to slow it down. So I decided it's a shoot like rocks and then trees. So, whoops. Here I'll show you. It was like uh, there's like a tree here, like a pine tree. So all these pine trees over here, and then here's the other side of the chute. And then the undulating hills were like Okay, hopefully that makes sense, right? So you would ski like like that. And um I was like, cool, I, I wanna slow it down, just stop. And uh so I went up the embankment, which is a good way to slow yourself down, except I wasn't really slowing it down, and before I knew it, there was a tree in front of me, and uh, I was like, I knew, I was smart enough to know, like, you don't want to hit the tree. I just go through the tree branches, it wasn't even a particularly big pine tree, and I figured that I could go through the branches on the side pretty easily, and there, you know, the, there were maybe, those branches were maybe an inch in diameter. And let me tell you, those trees are built strong. Um, yeah, it knocked my <laughs> knocked me on my butt, <laughs> uh, and it tore up my chin. Like, luckily, I had glasses on, so it didn't the the tree arms branches didn't puncture my eyeball. I was like, Ugh. Um, but it did scratch up my my chin, and. Uh, but I didn't know because it was so cold. Uh, I didn't feel my face. But all these lift operators like, hey, 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 dude, you're bleeding. Because I was just, just like bleeding all over my chin. So that was Christmas Day. And uh, yeah, so I don't recommend trying to burst through tree branches. It did not work. It, it laid me down and out. So that was kind of fun. My hands and eyes are okay. Who knows what I did to my brain. Uh, <laughs> but it just finally kind of healed now. Eight days. Uh, two weeks later, yeah. My shoulders are good. Shoulders are good. Had mass massive s snow. It was a uh, Sierra Nevada mountains between like California and Nevada. 
What's the lesson? Uh, I don't know. But I, I got these skis that are, you know, people now, like it used to be snowboarding or skiing. Snowboarding, you could do all the aerial stunts and whatnot. Skiing, you go straight line. But now they've, the technology has changed that, excuse me, that with skis, you can do some pretty crazy things too. So I figure 58, why not learn some new skills? <laughs> One second here. The lesson is outside is dangerous, so don't do it. Correct. The outside is dangerous. Watching that snowstorm come over the peaks of the mountain, um, whether you believe in God or not, it makes you fearful of God. <laughs> it is really powerful to see a strong storm come over a mountaintop very rapidly. It is, you know, Think about like what life would be like on other planets if you were like a, trying to colonize Mars or you know one of Jupiter's moons or something like. You'd probably see some pretty crazy things that just like nature does not care about thee. Thou art too small of a speck in the universe to make a difference. I mean it's full-on Armageddon level seeing that roll in but I do like a good storm it's a good reminder that the world lit literally does not revolve around you that storm will come whether you're here or not whether you protest or not whether you like AI art or not it does not care why am I talking like Thor? <laughs> uh, Mr. Rivera, one, nine, how many times have I skied into a tree? That's my first and only time. Holy Arts and Crafts Batman, good to see you. 57 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So, uh, have you guys made any resolutions? I'm not even a big resolution person, and I still made re resolves. I'm not going to say resolution. I did not call forth an assembly of the two chambers that form the mental government. Eric Fisher Art, it's been a while. Good to see you again. My resolution is 4K. There you go. But da but da boom. Don't forget to tip the waitresses on your way out. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to aim to stop eating so much sugar this year. Yes. PJ Beiser. Sugar is one of the, like, people talk about tobacco, alcohol, hard drugs. I, there's a very good case and uh, others um, way smarter or with more social media influence than myself have made the argument that sugar is the worst of them all I, I i highly addictive very hard to give up omnipresent in all our diets the cause the root cause of so much unhealthy behavior blah 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 sugar is good but refined sugar like was that were we meant to have that it's a sort of the age old conversation about technology like just because we can make it should we just because we can clone people should we like sort of there's the ethical piece of it and there's uh the What's it called? 
there's the ethics piece of it, and then there's the social impact piece of it. I guess that ties into the ethics. Gets down to like if we introduce this, if we introduce AI art, what will happen to society? Should we care? We usually do care. And I think about what we were intent, like people, there's a whole movement around, especially in food, like dieting, like what we were meant or designed to eat. And that's how we should follow those natural sort of instincts or cues. And I do subscribe a little to that line of thinking, right? They go like, oh, because we have canine teeth, we, we were designed to eat meat, okay? But were our systems really designed to have, like, diet-free or sugar-free sodas, for example? And they're so powerfully, powerfully addictive, I guess, sugar. because the um, harmful effects don't take years, if not decades, to affect us. That's why there's not such strong opposition. Uh, uh, uh. Mavs Killer CND. Have you ever had oxtail? What is that? You mean like oxtail soup? evil villain and our spines weren't designed to stand vertical is that true can someone confirm that have i been doing it all wrong <laughs> all this time yeah pj Bicer, i'm with you there i agree i've tried all sorts of different ways to sort of cut calories and nutra sweet or any of those artificial sweeteners um they taste very sweet, and I think it just makes your body crave more sweetness. It has a sort of ultimate negative impact. O'Neill Patel, hello. Jamaican oxtail soup stew? No, I've had Korean oxtail soup. Michael Stead. We got to get you oxtail. It's amazing. What is oxtail? Are you talking? You guys are making it sound like it's some weird uh, opioid or something. Okay. See how this is like all like flat except for this area because I've added the shadows. Like, look at all this. It's just like lines, detail. Trevor Kai, we're solving world problems today. Technology, diet, look. Yeah, whatever. When you draw, you got a lot of free time. So, might as well use that brain power. It's kind of like when you have your PC mining crypto while you're sleeping. You know, while we're drawing, we're only using the parts of the brain that actually draw. Like, might as well activate those other parts that concerned about the proliferation of technology, bad diets, refined sugars. Uh, I assume that Swamp Thing does not eat anything. He's like uh, half plant he gets his nourishment from the sun he poops out oxygen this is canon snail is good yeah snail 
half plant, he's all plant, half uh, well, swamp thing. The thing piece is the non plant part, no? <laughs> Drusifer, oh boy. <laughs> all right, let's just stop. Um, PJ Bicer, yes, yes. Alan Moore's version, yes. Anatomy lesson, yes, yes, yes. Correct. Okay, so getting denser, it should it should just really just go to black like this. Like that's the faster way. I'm doing this sort of slow, methodical, noodly way, but this will all this will all go dark, and I'll get there. Jeremy Eljo, how does he create? Bees procreate? He's not a flower. I assume he releases spores. Like. Or maybe he has pollen. Maybe he needs bees. Maybe there should be a bunch of bees, like a bunch of bees flying around him when he's mating season. Oh, it's that time of year again. Um, this is probably when you're overthinking a character too too much. He, I think he's more like a fungus. Hmm. Swamp thing, a fungus. I was curious. Uh, I think Swamp Thing and Man Thing were created around the same time. I wonder what inspired it was Len, right? Len Wein. Come with the name. Okay, uh, I want this to be darker over here. Anyway, what are you guys excited for this year? Anything? Last year was kind of like the re the return of in real life events, right? Conventions. That looks like that will continue this year. The stock market crashing. That's very. That's that's. <laughs> Are you are you a uh, do you short the market? Is that what's going on? Or you just like to see the word world burn dead 
dead something anchor. Skeletony art. Looking forward to tabling my first con in May. What what convention is that? Yes, I'm shorting. Yes. Okay. I will not be at WonderCon this year. I can confirm what shows I will not be at this year. Um, it falls on my kid's spring break, and so... That's a no. Um, Do you know, um, some people get their sketches graded by like CGC or whatever, and um, sometimes you get schmutz, schmutz on the back, you know, just like a black smudge or whatever, and then they count that smudge against the quality of the grade. But technically every marking I put on this with that marker is degrading you know if I had a copy of a comic and I just started randomly putting markings on it it would reduce the the rating you know what I'm saying but if you put those markings in a organized fashion to create an illustration that's okay <laughs> so sometimes when there's like schmutz around the back I'll go and make like that mark and add some visual element like I intentionally drew that schmutz there so that it doesn't knock down the rating of the comic. Axis 1970, the duality of life, correct. Triple hose, grading is such a scam. I, I, I dis respectfully disagree. I, I get graded comics. I'm just saying that when systems are first created, they're not necessarily created knowing all the ramifications or implications later in life when things change. And that's kind of where we're at in terms of grading. There's a demand for people, demand by consumers to have graded sketches. And so they had to kind of rethink what, how they grade. So, you know, having, I, I feel like as soon as you open the door to a, a sketch, you, you throw out all the, maybe you keep some of the rules like the, the sp the bend in the spine or something but if there's marks on the paper like that's part of it's hard to draw without creating marks on a piece of paper both intentional and unintentional that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> when it rains welcome in I am so 77 why are there less new sketch covers being published no demand I don't know is that the case it feels like it I guess you know everything's cyclical you just can't keep doing the same thing and expect people to get excited and that and that is true of creating art creating entertainment creating sketch covers new ideas.
And that's why we have like things like Mexican pizza at Taco Bell. People aren't happy <laughs> with their usual fake tacos and burritos. Like we got to keep people excited for the next big thing. What are we going to introduce? Mexican pizza. Right next to the Mexican stir fry meal, right? Mexican ramen. <laughs> uh, cilantro. Uh, okay. Let's um, let's toss a shadow down here. Like I said, you could do this quite a bit. Mexican pizza is just an unfold taco. I feel like if, if we're going to create a Mexican pizza, just cr create a new name, please. Just, you know, the original pizza rolling over its grave. Let it out of its misery. Create some other fake name for the food. Cheese thing. Quesa? No. I'm still thinking of names for Mexican pizza. Sorry. You should be as well. You should all be thinking. <laughs> Mexican pizza is just AI tacos. How true is that? Taco flying saucer. Uh, I, I, now I feel like I'm intrigued. I want to try it. I did not. I just saw it on the menu. Ernsto Art Hazos. Yeah. But then I am also a, I don't know, this madness that is civilization gone amok. Our culture is being pulled by hundreds of millions of people all running in different directions. And they're running paths we haven't even decided. If, I don't decided. I don't know what I'm saying. All I know is I ate a, what was that, chicken parmesan sandwich or something? I don't, was it at Wendy's? Was it at Wendy's? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Yeah, proper artist. Good to see you. Um, yeah, so I contri contributed to the destruction of modern civilization as well. I feel all those people that are supporting Mexican pizza at Taco Bell, you have an ally in me, unfortunately. Toll Booth 10, have you seen the menu? I did see the menu. Very entertaining. It's on HBO Max. I work for the company. I'm not allowed to say that 
what I really think of the show. Now, it's actually super clever, intriguing, definitely worth the watch. Trevor Kai, we, we have to keep the streaming platform on all the time. Accumulate those hours. It's just on like a radio at the house. F8 photo. I hate to admit, I love Taco Bell. Why do you hate to admit? Nothing wrong with Taco Bell. They just strayed from their mission, their prime directive by introducing Mexican pizza. That's all. I think Taco Bell has the best hot sauce of all the faux Mexican eateries. Not their mild, not their super hot, the middle one that they call hot. They got to work on that too. That whole nomenclature, that it's so confusing. There's, What hot sauce do you want? You want mild, hot, or inferno, I think, is the third one. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, do you not see the internal dilemma of having three kinds of hot sauces and one of them is actually called hot sauce? Diablo? Maybe it's Diablo. Funny Bob 85 does Taco Bell give you an upset stomach afterwards? Yes, that's the best part about it. <laughs> fire, it's fire, that's right. Fire sauce, right? It's mild, hot, and fire, correct? So I just, I'm worried like if I ever tell him, someone yeah give me some of the hot sauce that they will go to the fire because that's the hottest of the sauce oh it goes mild hot fire and diablo they just need to rename the hot because that whole category is called hot sauce sorry i'm yelling I'm, 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 this is finally i'm getting emotionally invested in the topic starbucks grande is a medium yes that's another horrible the tall is a small Oh, my gosh. I've bought Taco Bell hot sauce in, in bottles for my own. But then I'm like, I don't, I, I don't put that stuff on anything else except talk about that so, and that stuff is free so I stopped doing that but you can buy it in bottles I had bottles of that stuff it's just the right amount of vinegar it's very kind of Tabasco-y kind of thing going on hot hot sauce well I wonder if they always had mild. I'm sure at some point they just had one sauce. It was called hot sauce. That's it, one. And then um, as food culture's palate widened, and it has changed. Like I remember back in the day when kimchi was considered really spicy, really spicy, and people are like, I can't. This is like the 70s, early 70s. Uh and now I, I consider it really a mild in terms of uh, spice, hotness, right? We live in a, an era of the one chip challenge. Kimchi's like, uh, you know, it's like white bread at this point. I remember Noggles quite a bit. Eric Fisher art. Noggles was uh, subsumed. It was purchased, I think, by... Um, Del Taco. They merged back in the day. So that's why that macho combo burrito is gone. That's where I used to... Noggles, I would get the macho combo burrito. Yeah.
Human Target is excellent. I don't know how you can watch a stream and read a comic at the same time, but... Bernardo Chang did the one chip challenge on the stream. Yeah. Thank you very much, F8 Photo. It does not bother me, and I'm... I'm excited that you uh, like the backpack. Hot ones challenge and try it. Nah, I'm. <laughs> uh, if I have to do that, I'm just gonna give it up. I'd rather try to drop a full comic book in one night than, than do the one chip challenge. Our nine-year-old son wanted to do the one chip challenge. He took a tiny, tiny little speck corner of that thing. And he was vomiting outside. His older brothers are laughing gleefully. His older brothers don't want to do. I think they convinced him to try it. Fantasy Alien. Wish I had some cash to buy this piece. Me too. Me too. Not necessarily this piece, but I, the sentiment in general. I, I agree with you. But I think um, it'd be worse. It'd be worse. I don't know if it's the worst, but if you had an infinite amount of cash resources, would you want anything? I think initially you would, right? You get everything you want, and then after a while you're like, I've got everything I want. What do I do now? And now I got to organize it, store it, like. Oh, my skin break out already thinking just thinking about it these are not issues that 99.9999% percent of us will ever have to deal with but I think about it when when the lottery gets really high it's just like wow if you won it would change your life but in some ways in many obvious ways it would be for the better but in other ways especially if, if you had kids like they knew that you had just inherited or they were going to inherit so much money, like, I, wouldn't it just break your spirit in some way? Like, make any sort of ambition less interesting or challenging? I don't know. You guys know what I'm saying? Trevor, that is correct. But finding that amount, it, it varies from person to person. That's the problem. <laughs> Wildstorm CCG. Still holding out hope. I, I appreciate the the thought. 100%. All right. It is 11.24. Uh, we started late. This is a short stream. I, I set it up purposely to be short just so that uh, I didn't overcommit. And uh, one of my resolutions is to be a little more diligent about streaming.
So I'm just helping cast the shadow, and it's dark here. It lightens up as it goes here. Let me turn this way, this way. Access 1970, no cleanest ink? No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Got to gotta get back into shape to do that. This is a warm-up sketch. This is my first drawing for 2023. We're eight days in. I feel like I should draw every like Swamp Thing at the start of every year and just compare all the Swamp Things over time. Say, yep, in 2023, he lost the ability to draw. Just check out that swamp thing. Hello, Pandemus. Thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate it. So, yeah, one of the things I want to do is, is obviously get back in the swing of things, streaming-wise. And I know I've said that before. It's, it is a real thing real desire and uh, certainly getting this rig set up in its proper final place was important so I do feel like I've made a big step behind the scenes all right because uh, where it was set up was a common area and so things just will get moved and things won't be working blah 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 my kids also share that space with me. Okay. Uh, I, do I have red? I do. All right. So Steve 3000, how's the hand? Seems good. Yeah, pretty good. I have some numbness in the, uh, my thumb, the, pa the pad of my thumb. All of a sudden, just started stop working. <laughs> Meaning it's uh, oh, Sozo Micah, welcome in. Got a raining party of two hundred. That's cool. What happened to my hand? I just got old. It's an affliction that uh, awaits us all. Okay, it's weird. Like, it's blurry here, but I look up on the screen. It is not blurry because it is further away and larger. And now I'm seeing things. All right, let me uh, just clean it up a little bit. Hello, Raiders. Um, you have stumbled onto the Jim Lee stream. The annual stream. I'll see you guys in 2024. Sozo Micah, good to see you. Um, yeah, we were just thanking the mods. Kirihiko, Mod Prime, and, and uh, PK, Poop Kid. They uh, are here at every stream and also on our Discord channel. Oh, you know what? Um, so... Let me also just pump, do this. We have the 60 for 60 sketchbook here. And uh, anyway, at the end of last year, we were going to do a bunch of giveaways. And um, we would have if I streamed, and I didn't just because I think I just really needed the time to kind of pull in and just marshal my resources. I wasn't doing anything creative. Um, but now I've kind of emerged out of that trough, excited for the new year. Um, and uh, as you can see, I'm sort of finding my way through the whole process of dealing with it all. And uh, anyway, so long story short, I was going to give away some stuff. We'll do it now. 
and pretend like it was last year. But uh, I like I do like to think like why limit ourselves to giving and generosity for a small window of time in a 12 month period when there's so many other months like January where um, we're not doing things to to celebrate peace, joy and love. So let's let's do this. Let, let me go in here real quick. And uh, very quickly, what am I going to do? Wow, look at this. The sketch is super large. I'm running out of room. Look. Look at that chin location. <laughs> uh, so I have to recalibrate everything. Recalibrate, recalibrate. Right. Um, yeah. Okay. Man, I haven't done this in such a long time. I'm trying to um, sort of turn my decision-making part of my brain off and just let my brain and hand just work by reflex because I assume they know more than I do what to do. So I'm trying to get out of my own way, if that makes any sense. Kind of interesting. Doing a lot of hmm. It's weird drawing at this size. that we've had right there by just basically drawing the hair in. been a lot of fun streaming again and I uh, hope to see you guys soon we are going to go do a raid um, and uh, just sort of we've been raided but before we do the raid um, we've already thanked our mods uh, we're going to give away we'll do some giveaways okay. in the spirit of 
celebrating the new year. The Raiders that just uh, kind of came onto the scene. So so this would be the first. Um, if you want, I am going to personalize it to you. So um, be prepared to give your name or someone else's name in case you went. And we're going to go to anyone in stream to win this. Let me pull back. You can see this a little bit better. Oh my gosh. Hey, at least I'm not setting the VCR, right? And you're like, what the heck is a VCR? I don't know. Very dated reference. We were playing J Jackbox TV over uh, the break, and it was something to do with a rotary phone. It's just kind of funny seeing the kids react to it. Like, what's a rotary phone? Okay, um, let's see, uh, who, 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 well, let me, let me flatten that out a little bit. Oh, so yeah, so this is a plug for the book, um, 60 for 60, these are sketches I did under lockdown, 2020, 2021, it has, uh, bunch of liner notes and it has basically the 60 sketches that I did DC characters Let me see if I get a little bit of the glare out of it okay so this will go to anyone in stream let me Go to Nightbot and do giveaways and I'm going to wait for the number eligible. I think you have had to been active in the past five minutes to be eligible to win. So if you haven't typed anything, you need to do that. But don't spam, right? Once is good. All right, here we go. The winner, Russell Heath uh, from the UK. I know that guy. Known him for many years. Congrats, Russell. Yeah, Russell, big art. Big comics collector back from the Punisher days. Following since December 16th, 2018. Cheers, mate. All right. Now, someone said, like, I wish I had the money to um, essentially afford something like this. Uh, This is a giveaway I'm going to do for um, someone that's in, has to be a sub, so I do apologize, it requires some expenditure of cash, but, but certainly 
Um, it's a way of getting it relatively on the cheap, right? As they say. Hey, Punker13. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm saying that there's inexpensive ways to get what you want sometimes. Just got to try. Can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you might find you get what I stream. Ooh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the Rolling Stones, yes, Axis 1970. Um, let's see. This would be subs. So I gotta click off that. Okay. I think I've narrowed it down to just subs. If it ends up, because sometimes the software's glitchy and it's not a sub who gets it, I'll just re-roll it. So, um, and I'll know you're a sub based on your avatar. Okay. Uh, if you're a sub, you need to put something in the chat. If you've put something in the chat in the last five minutes, you're good. Thank you very much, Steve3000. Very generous of you to give so many subs to people randomly. Now they have a chance of winning. That's very cool. So yeah, this is going to go out to uh, someone out there. It's the first sketch of 2023. Um, wrapped up into this sketch is um, pontifications about AI art, um, Taco Bell, Mexican pizza, um, shorting the market, procrastination. All these are unseen ingredients that went into the formation of this piece. So I hope you remember it and it becomes a cherished heirloom for your family. <laughs> there's no hidden Goku, but there's a hidden ski accident right there, right there. All right, let's see who's going to win this one. The winner, Golf Boy Sunday. Golf Boy Sunday. I know Golf Boy Sunday, too. Look, it's the return of the vets. A lot of times with these giveaways, we went to like, random people like no one had ever heard of but had been sort of lurking or subbing from back in the day golf boy sunday following since uh march 3rd of 2018 congrats all right i think that's it um let's figure out who we're gonna raid and if you check the um, the Discord channel, it'll give you an update of when the next streams are. I promise you it will be um, more frequent than it has been in the last six months. And uh, for sure, for sure. So let's, um, if you've never been in a raid before, let me tell you how it goes. We basically get on our virtual ship. We find another creative on Twitch and we drop in on them and um, uh, blow them away with our uh, combined um, enthusiasm, charm, wit, etc., etc. So let me just pop it here into channel. And we're loading it up, I think. All right, let's raid now. And I'll catch you next time. Thank you very much for tuning in.